Good afternoon everyone. Uh, my name is Dr. Nirban Viswas. I am a practicing diabetologist and endocrinologist in South Delhi. Today the topic we are going to discuss is about obesity. Basically obesity as you know is a common problem these days because of the uh, prevalence of fast food and sedentary lifestyle. So what is actually obesity? Uh, obesity has been classified into three categories according to our BMI. So now you will ask what is BMI? So BMI is the body mass index. So to calculate it, uh, we have our height and weight. So we have to divide the weight by the height, the square of our height. So we can calculate BMI, it's an easy process. Based on the BMI, obesity has been classified into three categories. First is normal BMI, that is non-obese or normal. So it is less than 25. If the BMI is less than 25, then the person is normal weight. If it is more than 25, but less than 30, then it is overweight and more than 30 is considered to be obesity. So now coming to the causes of obesity, as I have already discussed that there are mainly two causes of obesity. First is our lifestyle based and second is disease based. So lifestyle based is if we are not adhering to a uh, diet protocol and taking too many calories so that will obviously uh, cause weight gain second is our sedentary lifestyle we are not uh, doing any workouts or exercise and we don't walk and we are like couch potato so that is also uh, going to gain us weight coming for the diseases which are linked to obesity first is type 2 diabetes and insulin resistance which is obviously a very common and India is now one of the diabetic capitals so because of the insulin resistance in type 2 diabetes people gain weight so that is one cause the second may be thyroid problems again thyroid is very common in Indian females particularly it is 10 times as common as in males thyroid particularly hypothyroidism is known to be linked with obesity and weight gain. Third is polycystic ovarian syndrome, which is a very common disease in females, uh, particularly young females. So there is hyper in insulin secretions and which uh, leads to hormonal imbalance and that causes weight gain. Along with weight gain, the PCOS females may have acne, hirsutism, that is a very high amount of facial hair and other problems also. The fourth problem is uh, related to the cortisol hormones. Basically, they are the hormones which are secreted by the adrenal glands and they are sometimes linked with obesity. Coming to the treatment part, obesity can be treated by two ways. First is the lifestyle changes. So, we have to adhere to a very strict diet which uh, contain, consists of less amount of uh, carbohydrates and less amount of saturated fats which is the norm so the diet which we can follow is uh, very easily available you can consult any dietitian or nutritionist they can help you with that second is obviously to do workouts the WHO recommends that we should walk at least 10,000 steps per day but we can be gradual in it and we can increase our activity depending upon our other comorbidities like other conditions if you have uh, so based on that we can increase the workout third is the medical management so there are ways we can reduce weight through medicines the last but not the least is the bariatric surgery so they are the latest development in uh, obesity treatment. Uh, there are few indications and contraindications for that. The BMI should be really very high so that we can go for these surgeries. And bariatric surgery usually results in a substantial weight loss. And we have to consult a bariatric surgeon uh, 
regarding uh, these uh, there are procedures which are done nowadays and it can be easily availed at uh, many of the big hospitals so with that friends if you have any query you can contact me my number and my email address will be shown below and uh, i'll be very happy and eager to help and solve your queries thank you good day